Yeah, let me give you, the location where the raid occurred was a chemical store which the owner and his associates were suspected of supplying chemical agents to terrorist criminals and insurgents. There was also information that suggests these individuals were involved in the production of chemical munitions. Uh, based on that and other intelligence, uh, some of our organizations went into the location and were conducting the inspection uh, when the uh, explosions occurred. When you say chemical munitions, what, it, what exactly do you mean? Um, as I said, there's information that suggests these individuals were involved in the production of chemical munitions. That could be any number of chemical munitions. It could be smoke. It could be anything. But uh, it apparently had enough credibility to it, uh, that information that we sent uh, coalition forces in to do the inspection. Was the inspection by the Iraq Survey Group? Uh, the uh, inspection was by a number of coalition forces. But this is essentially a small minority that's uh, supporting these insurgents. And also, uh, General Kimmett. Uh um, and if, in fact, that building was solely being used um, to manufacture lipstick, it had quite an explosion inside that building, which cost the life of two coalition soldiers, injured a number of coalition soldiers, and a number of Iraqi civilians. So if it was making lipstick, uh, that's some pretty high test lipstick. On your second question about which forces will replace the Spanish, we've said that uh, we are still examining all the options. That could include using some of the current forces on the ground. That could include bringing forces from other sectors, other zones down into that region to pick up the zone that the Spanish were operating in. It could be a new contribution coming from a country already part of the coalition or perhaps a new coalition partner uh, uh, deploying troops into uh, Iraq for that purpose. Any number of options are available. I suspect that those de decisions will be made in the near future, but right now we're examining all those options to see which will be uh, the optimum solution.